and welcome to my channel, I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be doing something a bit different today. I'm going to be looking at an old WWE Jack specific toy. I'm going to be looking at, sorry if I made the camera, WWE Microaggressions Crash and Bash Playset Cage and Match. Let's first of all check out the box. We've got over 10 battle features, Crash and Bash and Play. We've got First to Cage, Take It With You, uh, Blast. Uh, Entrance stage, catapult into the ring, smash through the table, crash through the wall, and let's have a look at the back. Oh, look, blasting entrance ramp, ramp, extended cage, catapult, jumping pose, figure blasting, folding chair, announce table, flyaway monitors, breakaway walls, carry cage, and cage. That's a nice show. Then it shows who you can collect in the series Triple H, HPK, Kane, Undertaker, Chris Benoit, Chris. Ray Mysterio, John Cena, Rob Van Dam, and then it's just advertising some other stuff. Okay, let's get this thing out of the box. It's a big thing. It is used, but I'm really, really liking old wrestling stuff. That's why I have an old WrestleMania 2097 hardcoring. Oh my god, there's like so many parts to this thing. Jesus. Oh my god. Alright, let's just move that over there. And um, yeah, we've got our individual little parts which we're going to have to fit together to make an actual thing. Alright, I will be back in a sec when I can actually make this thing and then we'll make a proper product review of it. Alright, back in a second. And there is the finished product. Uh, it did come with a table, which breaks, which is alright. Uh, a trash can. This thing, um, that's all the accessories. It didn't come with any figures, but luckily I went on eBay and bought a few figures because I was assuming it wouldn't actually come with any. I picked up a CM Punk. You can see the figures got a bit of articulation, but not like the proper main figures. So I right. uh, an Edge, a MVP, and a Shawn Michaels. Let's actually look at the set itself. Uh, unfortunately, the wall is missing a piece, so it is not anywhere near as good as the thing should be. Should still be fun to smash things through, but unfortunately, let me just take that thing out because it's making it even more unstable. There should be another piece there, but unfortunately, it did not come, so I'm going to moan at the person on eBay about that. Uh, then we have the analysis table where, yes, the things do flick out. I just demonstrated by me there. It's all right. You can't actually put them through the announce table, so there is a disappointment there. Then the ring, we go to that. It's got like the. Oh yeah, this does. You can explode this if you had the whole wall. You could explode the wall. Uh, yeah, you've got all the turnbuckles. One that actually comes out if you press the button. Two of them actually do that, and then these come up when you press this button. Yeah, well, that, that's the other button. Uh, then we'll turn it round so I can show you more of it. Uh, let's just take that wall down because it's annoying me. Uh, yeah, you click this to do the spring ramp. You've got the engine front that floats up, and then you can just smash through that. And that. It's actually a fun little thing. I'm, sli I'm slightly disappointed that I haven't got the uh, whole product. Because I've got lack of wall, but this little does look absolutely amazing. Let's do the K transformation because I can. Okay, and voila, it's transformed into a cage. I know, but what are you expecting with the stuff we get? Let's transform it back. Overall, this is a pretty fun little product. It's properly in scale with all the wrestlers. You can, you can put CM Punk on there and make him fly into the ring. There we go, he flew into the ring. Yeah, you can put tables. I've got a chair in the loft, which I need to bring it out because I have it for the WWE stacked things. And the chair will fit these, so that'll be good. Uh, and I came with this weird green piece, which uh, for the life of me, I have no idea where this goes. Let's, let me just show you how it folds up. Let's just get rid of all this. 
Okay. Yeah, there we go. It folds up pretty simply, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you got a D-stem mark. There we go. It's literally a simple case of... There we go. I have folded... One sec, not very well. Jesus Christ, this thing is old. Folded it up. Not very well because I've detached it so. Okay, there we go. I folded it up into a nice little carry case thing. This thing really isn't going to to get that one second. Okay, that's the best I can do. It keeps breaking at the bottom for some reason. But yeah, that's how it folds up with the cage. Alright, there we go. I can't actually do it any better. I've just faffed around with it. It literally will not stay together to fold up. God knows why. Let's just... There we go. That was uh, my little first product review of an old Jack Pacific ring and microaggression thing. It's actually pretty cool. I think uh, I never actually owned it when it came out. Which was a sad thing because if I actually owned this one I was with a kid, when did it come out? Um, let me actually check. I think it was 2006. Uh, yeah, 2006 this came out. And it says uh, 12 years old, 12 plus. Seriously, it's a kid's toy. Uh, yeah, but still, 2000, 2006 is 10 years old. This would have been amazing back then. That's just when I was getting into wrestling. That's when I got my first original figures. So yeah, 2006. Uh, this was a fun little thing. I'm now going to go and moan to a guy on eBay about why the hell I haven't got my wall. I mean, granted, I could probably just put that there and have someone go through it, but it's not the point. It's the point that I haven't got a complete product when he only advertised he didn't have the folding chair, which I... So, overall, great little product, to be honest. I'm glad I picked it up for, I think it was like 20 quid, which I think was the price of it when it actually came out. So, I'm just going to shove all my stuff in here, and I am going to go and find a place to actually put this thing and try and figure out why it won't close. So, yeah, thanks for watching my review, and I'll catch you later.